um, it's Music Man 519, and I was requested to do a, a tutorial on how to make a video, and how to make a, a effect on Sony Vegas that looks like this. Alright, and it's very simple to do this, it just takes a few steps, so I will quickly go over that. Okay, so first off you need your video. Right here I have my video, and as you can see, nothing is done to it. So, uh, go to the event effects, I'm just going to delete what I already have, and what you need to do is click on it and go to cookie cutter, Sony cookie cutter. Add it, and then click, hit OK. So then if you see your video, it's still got nothing. In my video, well, first of all, make the size a little smaller. Second of all, I had a triangle and a square, so let's do that, just so you can see the resemblance. Shrink it down to size. Add the bor no. Add the border. You gotta change the color, or it just makes it smaller. And then if you make it a little bigger, just so the border is thicker and stuff. And there. All right. And now, since you want to move it, probably what you have to do is here's the area where you move it, and here's your keyframes. Click on the keyframe dropper or whatever and just move it over a little and then move your keyframe a little. Continuously do that until your video is how you would like it. You can do this as many times as you want. The smaller gaps in between each keyframe means the quicker they'll switch. And of course the bigger the slower they'll switch. So as you can see, it's just going back and forth, back and forth until I'm done. And now let's just say I want to end here. So what I did was I added color. So right here, let's add another keyframe where it changes to a nice pink background, let's just say. And um, then move it over a little and make it expand. Just like that. That is very good. And then when you X out, you can see it's moving around. Changes to pink and expands. But don't but we but in my video we had two objects moving. So let's do that. So you go to event effects again, do click on the uh, plug plugin chain, click on it, and then you see Sony cookie cutter. Click on it again, add again, and OK again. Now what you do is you add a square. Only what you want to do is you want to um cut away no. You want to cut away all butt section. No. You want to cut away section. Now that gets rid of everything. So what you have to do is shrink the size to the size you want. Let's give it a yellow, um, a red border. And there's the border. So now, if you start it, you move it and you see that moves. So let's move this along. You kind of want to make it, um, like, work along with it, like I did with mine. That's what I did. I just made it follow the other one. So you get it to follow it and just have it go along with it. Maybe the keyframes, you don't want them to be right next to each other. So you keep going. And you just do this as many times as you want, just like with the other one. And what happens is that expands, and then after it goes, I'm going to have this one um, do the same thing. Just like that. So now, after you do that, you can see... I messed up a little, apparently. Uh, let's see. Right here, for some reason, this grows, and I do know the reason. What happens is, you want to create two different... Look, you need to have this keyframe, and then right before you want the other one it to expand, you need to create another keyframe. So have the keyframe drop down here with the size, and then right after it, it'll grow. So now the video looks like this. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, 
Please subscribe and, and all that stuff, the basics. So, here's Sony Vegas, and goodbye.